Well, we just pulled up to one of Jim's hunting properties. Just gonna check a couple of his trail cameras before we get the tractor off the trailer and start tilling up his food plot. I think he's downloading the pictures to his phone right now. Yeah. So how many acres is this piece that you have? This is 10. So this piece is 10 acres. It's and there's a hundred something behind it. it. Big farm. Big farm behind it. This is 10 and then the one behind it is 10. 10 acre hay field, 100 acre farm. And he's kind of in between it all with this uh, 10 acre piece. Mostly uh, it's an old horse pasture. Old horse pasture, yeah. It's natural grasses and weeds growing in it now and some olive, olive bushes growing. Around the perimeter, there's the olive bushes. It's all tilled up now, so we got rained on there for a little bit, so we had to put the camera away and actually take a break from tilling it up because it started raining pretty good, but we uh, got it all tilled up. And Jim's just spreading some seed now. I think he's putting clover down. It's the first area. There's another food plot back there on that trail too. Show you that in a second. Gonna get some slow-mo real quick. lens is a little bit fogged up but we're back at uh, uh, Jim's food plot here that we planted six weeks ago um, we wanted to come back and get a little progress video just showing the kind of how everything's been growing so uh, we're trying to keep it down because we got here later than we wanted to and uh, we actually just saw a group of deer out in the hayfield to the north so um, yeah so anyways is the update video I think Mike and Jim just walked around the corner so I'm gonna catch up with them but we'll do a little tour through here and kind of show you what it looks like now
sexy. Go ahead. Well, we came back to get an update on the plot and pull some camera cards. And this is what it looks like. Tomorrow is four weeks after planting, and the only rain we've had in that whole time is the weekend we planted. So luckily we got it in the ground when we did. Even with all the drought, it seems to be coming up pretty good. So I'm looking forward to coming back here October 1st. Gonna kill Big Louie. Right, this is the jungle here. Day one progress. After clearing the food plot, I decided that I was going to put in a watering hole at the bottom of the food plot, the lowest point, because the ditch nearby hasn't been holding water. At most, it's holding water for a day or two after rain, but then after that, it's bone dry. The watering tank that I picked up was from Roking. It was like 75 bucks, and it's 110 gallons. I was raking some grass out of the back of the food plot. Found something back here. 
barely see it. The lighting's not the best. But I hit that with the rake. It's old shed. Mm -hmm. Pretty sweet. Alright, I'm uh, all sweaty, but I just finished the, uh, the watering hole back there. So, it's at kind of the lowest point of the food plot, but I still got to get everything planted here before uh, too long. Get it filled with water here, and then uh, it's 110 gallons total, so it's going to take a little while, but it's worth it. Lost track of this point, but for this watering hole to be filled up, I'm sick of carrying buckets of water back there. Well, you're getting close. Yeah, I'm just ready to be done, have it filled. Let the deer get used to drinking out of it. Get my truck in here, Jim. Just kidding. Rural King, not a sponsor yet. Oh, well, these are from uh, Home Depot. No. Oh. Rural King didn't have lids. What you're seeing now will probably be the final update for my food plot. It was planted approximately two and a half weeks before the footage you're seeing now. I planted mainly winter rye, alfalfa, clover, and a little bit of rape. I didn't really want to plant too much variety since it was a small food plot and cleared it by hand. Maybe next year I'll make it a little bit bigger and uh, that's kind of the plan right now. Deer already naturally moved through this area in the fall, so I figured a good fall plot would kind of help enhance the desirableness of this area. I hung my stand about 10 yards off the core food plot in the Oak Island that's just east of the food plot, so the wind should be good for that. So other than that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this little update video, and we're looking forward to what 2020 brings.